There are nearly 2 billion Muslims on the planet, and every quizzer needs to know about the world's fastest growing religion. Welcome to the Quiz Academy Guide to the Five Pillars of Islam. Islam is an Arabic word that means submission, specifically submission to God and following a way of life that's in accordance with God's will. In Arabic, putting the letters MU in front of a word is like putting the letters ER after a word in English to denote what somebody does. So in English, if you preach, you are a preacher. If you put MU in front of Islam in Arabic, you have Muslim, someone who submits. Other examples are that the call to prayer is the Adan, and the one who recites the call to prayer is a Muadin or Muazin. Jihad is the struggle, so one who struggles is a Mujahid. The Quran is the holy book of Islam and is the word of God as revealed to the prophet Muhammad by the angel Jibril or Gabriel. The Hadiths are a collection of teachings and examples from the life of the prophet Muhammad that give clarification and guidance on how to live and how to interpret the Quran. From the Quran and the Hadiths emerged five fundamental principles of Islam that apply to all Muslims. These are referred to as the five pillars of Islam. They are Shahada, Salah, Zakat, Sawm, and Hajj. Shahada is the profession of faith which has two parts. Firstly, there is no God but God, which asserts the monotheistic nature of Islam. Secondly is Muhammad is the messenger of God, which underlines the position of the words and deeds of the Prophet Muhammad as an example to Muslims. He is the messenger, not a messenger. The Shahada can be seen written in Arabic on buildings such as the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul, and also on flags of Islamic countries such as Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan. Salah is the requirement to pray. Muslims must pray five times a day every day at different times of the day and facing in the direction of Mecca. Fajr prayers are done just before sunrise. Duhr prayers are at midday. Asir prayers are in the afternoon. Maghrib prayers are in the evening and Isha prayers are at night. There is some flexibility about when the prayers take place and some Muslims combine prayers rather than reciting them separately. While the act of praying can be a solitary act, on Fridays Muslims gather together for prayers as a congregation. These are known as Jummah prayers, Jummah being the Arabic word for Friday. Prayers in congregation at other times are known as Jamat. Zakat is charitable giving. The word zakat means purity, and the idea here is that you purify your wealth through charitable giving. Zakat is obligatory for all Muslims, but for those without the wealth to make a financial donation, the donation can be made in kind or through deeds. Those in a position to do neither will likely be the recipients of zakat. Additional voluntary giving is known as sadaka, and Muslims often give a proportion of their income to charity. Sawm is fasting, which takes place in the holy month of Ramadan, the ninth month of the lunar calendar. Muslims are prohibited from drinking or eating anything between sunrise and sunset. Ramadan and the fast are a time for Muslims to draw closer to God, their faith and their community. Ramadan is also called the month of the Quran because it is said that it's the time when the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. The night on which this occurred is known as Laylatul Qadr or the night of power. During Ramadan, the meal eaten before sunrise is known as suhoor, and the meal eaten at sunset is called iftar. Eid al-Fitr is the religious holiday that marks the end of Ramadan. It is forbidden to fast on that day, and Eid is marked by special prayers and celebrations. There are other Eids, including Eid al-Hajj, which all Muslims celebrate, and others celebrated by particular branches of Islam, such as Ghadir and Mubahila in Shia Islam. The fifth and final pillar of Islam is Hajj, the pilgrimage. Muslims are required to make the pilgrimage to Mecca once in their life if they have the means to do so. And the Hajj happens during Dhul Hijjah, which is the 12th month of the lunar year. Men are required to shave their heads and wear two pieces of white cloth to show that rich and poor are all alike. The main rituals of the Hajj are Tawaf, walking seven times around the Kaaba building in Mecca. Istilam touching the black stone that is built into the Kaaba. Sayy, 
walking seven times between Mount Safa and Mount Mawa. And Rami, stoning a pillar in Mina in memory of when Ibrahim, or Abraham, stoned Satan. There is also the sacrifice of a lamb in reference to the story of Abraham and Isaac. In practice, a butcher is often paid to kill the lamb and the meat is distributed to the poor. Any pilgrimage to Mecca outside of Hajj season is called an Umrah. There are some differences between branches of Islam, and although what we've described as the five pillars are common to all, Twelver, the largest branch of Shia Islam for example, does not have five pillars, but a set of core beliefs that are called Usul al-Din, or Roots of Religion. These roots are Tawheed, the Oneness of God, Adalat, God's Justice, Nubuwa, Prophethood, Imama, Muhammad's lineage and descendants, and Miad or Qiyama, the Day of Judgment and Resurrection. Then they have the furu Din, or branches of religion that are the actions that follow from the root beliefs. These include the familiar Salah, Sorm, Zakat and Hajj, and also include Qums, an annual tax of 20% of people's profits, Jihad, the Arabic word for struggle, which means going through hardship for Allah, promoting good, forbidding wrong, Tawala, expressing love towards good, and Tabara, expressing hatred towards evil. So while zakat is always the act of charitable giving, it is not always considered by Muslims to be a pillar of Islam. This is not dissimilar to other religions where different traditions have slightly different practices. For most quiz purposes though, understanding the five pillars of Islam as outlined in this video are sufficient. For higher level quizzes, you might want to engage with the complexity of the subject. Things you must know. The names of the five pillars, Shahada, Salah, Zakat, Sorm, and Hajj, and what they mean. Things you should know. The names of prayer times, prayer rituals, Ramadan rituals, and the activities of the Hajj. And things you could know. Much of the Arabic terminology of minor aspects of the five pillars, and the variants on the five pillars of different branches of Islam. As with all Quiz Academy videos, this is just a pointer to help you understand where to focus your learning for the maximum effect. Additional resources on this subject can be found here. Thank you for watching this Quiz Academy video, we hope you enjoyed it, and if you did and there are other subjects you'd like to see us cover, then please put them in the comments below. Don't forget, subscribe to All Things Quiz to make sure you never miss out on a future video, and here on screen now are some other videos you might enjoy.